beginning of autumn. The green leaves and grasses of summer have turned gold. Even though this scene looks peaceful, the animals that live here are already getting ready for winter. But they're not ready before the cold and snow arrives. They will not survive the winter season. There are four ways that wild animals survive the hardships of winter. Some animals, like the moose, fatten themselves in autumn. stop growing, food gets scarce, and sometimes it's hard just keeping warm. Winters are pretty hard on the deer. Some have been known to starve to death before spring. cold and there could be snow and during the day it gets bakingly hot but about 9,000 years ago man took a crucial step has come almost to a complete standstill. The trees without their leaves can't grow. The birds that came visiting up here during the summer have now retreated south. And some of these small mammals have crawled into holes and gone to sleep. Their heartbeat has almost stopped. Their bodies have become as cold as stone. They're hibernating. But that sleep doesn't last throughout the winter. They wake up every four or five days and go and look for food. Like, for example, those small chipmunks over there. Not only warmth, but intense cold will bring them out. For although their body temperature falls while they're hibernating, if it drops to freezing point, they will die. So in really cold spells, they must get up and warm themselves with a little exercise, even though it dangerously depletes their fat reserves.
traveled some 2,000 miles southwards since we started at the tree line near the Arctic Circle. And in all that vast territory, the majority of the forest trees have been conifers. So it seems only right and proper that we should end with these, the noblest of them all. As a group, the conifers owe much of their success to their ability to cope with the changeable northern climate. They can survive both the short, dark days of winter with their bitter cold, as well as the long, sunny days of summer with their raging fires. 